So this client reached out to me because their toddler stumbled upon this subterranean yellow jacket colony and she was swarmed and stung over 20 times. And despite sustaining 20 stings, luckily she wasn't allergic, so it could have been a lot worse for her. The client reached out to me to come and remove this nest for them. Most of my clients are absolutely terrified of yellow jackets and hornets, and they don't want to be bothered trying to take care of these nests on their own, and they want to hire a professional to come out and remove these nests, so that's when I come in. So these clients contact me to come out, and I show up with my trusty vacuum and start vacuuming up as many of the workers and guards as I possibly can from the entranceway. You can see that I'm pounding on the ground to try to stir up as many of the workers and guards to come out of the entranceway as I possibly can. So I set the vacuum nozzle perpendicular to the entranceway, and that's not only to catch the ones coming out of the nest, it's also to catch the thousands of returning foragers that are coming back to the colony. So I do this over and over and over again for about 15 to 20 minutes, and I could not believe how they just kept coming out. I thought I was going to get to the end of it, 5 minutes, 10 minutes later, but they just kept coming out. There was over 5,000 yellow jackets in this colony, absolutely packed with larvae, pupae, and tons of adults. So people will ask me, what are the different stages inside of a colony? So it's the founding queen. She's the one that starts the entire colony in the springtime. So this entire nest that you're seeing was started by one founding queen. So she lays a bunch of eggs. All the eggs that she lays are fertilized, so they become female workers, but they're sterile female workers. Towards the end of the season, the workers will then start laying their own eggs, but they're non-reproductive and they hadn't mated yet. So the eggs that they lay are unfertilized. Unfertilized eggs hatch into males. So the males, they don't do anything. They freeload. They live, they sleep, they eat, and then they mate, and then they die. Good figure. Am I right, ladies? So when the queens hatch out towards the end of the season, they're able to be mated with because they're reproductive. They have reproductive parts. So the males mate with the queens, and now those new eggs become fertilized, and then they turn into new female workers the next spring. But you can see that this species is a latching species. They're the second most aggressive species I deal with in PA. This is Vespula macula fronds. They're latched all over me. And they will die in that latched and stinging position. So I set the vacuum nozzle where the entranceway was and catch the remaining returning foragers. So people always ask about the inside of the vacuum. It's just soapy water. So the centripetal force forces the yellow jackets into the baffle and down into the water. But look at the thousands of yellow jackets. Just that one handful was a thousand yellow jackets. Easy. So that's all ready to get thrown into the compost pile. So then I take the nests out and I dump them out for my chickens, emus, rhea, turkey, and my squirrels. The yummy turkey. Come on, go. Come on, go, go. How you doing, turkey? Hey, look at this. Look what's in my hand first. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this is not what I had in mind. Oh my gosh, you're getting it all down my shirt. Stop. Oh my. Look, look at my other hand. See, there's larva in there. You get the larva? There's, I feel stuff like rolling down my shirt. Look. Right here, look. Eat what's in my hand, Squeal. Oh, it's a good Squeal. Here, Squeal. Eat these, Squeal. Ow, that's my finger. Here, eat this. Hey. Hey. Just remember who gave this to you. Squeal. You want this larva or not? Eat it. Oh, squirrely squirrel. Oh, squirrely squirrel. Well, you better watch that. She's not going to put up with that. She's a bully squirrel. You don't mess with a bully squirrel. That's not Miss Emily. She's not afraid of you. <laughs> you better watch that. She's going to go after you. Look, she's pulling all the larvae out for you. Isn't that nice? She ain't going to put up with that.
your sweetie buddy. You coming over to join us, sweetie? Well, go ahead. It's just a plane, Doris. <laughs> what are you so afraid of? It's such a skittish booty. It's a good girl, Doris. What a good girl, Doris. She's a good girl.